NASA has taken a very big step this past year to build on its educational opportunities, working with our corporate affiliates, working with our, our, the staffs in our various states. To hear from the experts and then to be able to talk to our colleagues who understand the context within which we're approaching these problems, whether it has to do with state insurance or debt credit or investment, it's just very exciting. And of course, it's good to see old friends. Treasurers operate in a very dynamic environment. We have policy changes in federal and state law constantly. We have advances in technology that provide us with opportunities as well as challenges in terms of uh, leveraging greater efficiencies and, and also maintaining uh, data security in the processes that we oversee. 90% of companies were breached with a vulnerability that was at least three years old in the past year. We can make decisions on purchasing software based on things that we know hackers find to be really popular to exploit. To be part of an organization that is sincerely and honestly bipartisan or even nonpartisan is an amazing experience. What we all recognize is that we work for the people of our state. NASA is, and its personnel are uh, incredibly thoughtful, uh, incredibly responsible, incredibly flexible, and so, uh, you know, they keep abreast, they're leading in identifying the issues. Being inclusive is a sustainability issue, and it is for this country's successful global competition for us to fully tap our capital as well as our human resources. How I've seen NAST grow over the last five years is in the offerings that they are embarking on, the development of a very robust strategic five-year plan is setting the organization on a, on a new path to bring more and more benefits to states. We are a collaborative group, partnership that works together. That's something that we need to do across the political spectrum. I'm proud that NAS does that every day.